Yo, what's good everybody? It's Young John, and today I'm going to show y'all how to get iOS 15.6 and 7 new features that it has. So the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to go to your settings and you're going to scroll down to where it says general. And I'm going to tap on where it says about at the very top to show y'all what software version I'm on right now which is 15.5 and to get the 15.6 you're going to tap on software update and it's right there and you're going to hit where it says download and install and then it's going to ask you for your passcode and then you put in the passcode it's asking if I want to use cellular data for download in case I lose Wi-Fi so I just hit yeah and then this says includes enhancements, bug fixes, and security updates. I'm going to tap where it says uh, the blue link. The blue link. The first blue link. That's what I'm going to press. And then it takes you to your Safari. And it'll bring you to your Apple security updates page. And on this website... It has all the releases of like every Apple device. Like on the right side of the screen, you can see the date. And it tells you in the middle what device is compatible for that update. And for the new update 15.6, you have to have an iPhone 6S or newer. And now I'm back here and I'm going to tap where it says learn more in blue. And that's just some of the stuff that's included with this update. Some of the information. Fighting to this day. To this day. To this day. And then I'm going to tap where it says done. Or if you click the blue link that was where it said learn more. It brings you right back to the Apple security site. And I'll tell you guys one of the new features right now, which is you can now restart, pause, and rewind live sports on the Apple TV app. So if you use the Apple TV app, you're able to rewind, pause, and restart live sports and I guess you never were able to do that before and I'm going to fast forward to when the update is ready to be installed because it takes it took me like 20 minutes for the entire thing to download and install so I'm not going to make a 20 minute video hell no get that the okay, fuck out of here thing is an iPhone storage bug has been fixed. So now it won't say it's full. Because you know how all the time your iPhone would say iPhone storage is full, iPhone storage is full? Well, I guess it was a bug and it really wasn't true. And they fixed it in this new update. Okay, so I hit install when it finished. And now I'm going to go to my settings to show y'all that I successfully got 15.6 so now I tapped on about and it says I'm on 15.6 which is the new update and if I tap on software update it says 15.6 so there you go okay so number three the modem update helps overall connectivity which is like your 4G and 5G number four they added something in the screen time to improve communication and safety for kids that's inside the screen time number five when you go to your Safari settings and clear history and website data, there's a new thing that says you can close tabs and keep tabs open now. And that's in the Safari and clearing history website data. And number six is the Apple security updates that I showed you how you can look at. And number seven, the iPhone doesn't get as hot anymore. You know how on hot days or when you're charging your phone or the brightness is up, it gets mad hot? Well, I guess they resolved that problem in this update. And that's the video, y'all. If y'all found this video helpful, make sure to hit it with a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank y'all for watching. I'm out. Peace.